Virtual reality headset. Actually, it's the second version of the virtual reality headset. Um, so uh, you can probably get it off eBay for like uh, ten dollars or fifteen at maximum. So uh, before we begin, this is the package of uh, Right Tech virtual reality headset. Uh, it's in mainly Chinese around here, so don't think you'll get to know anything more than made in China. Actually, um, this QR code is. I really don't know what it does. I haven't scanned it yet. Um, yeah, well, yeah, that's about the box. Oh, actually, no. Uh, let me show you guys the packaging. It comes in bubble wrap and also has a separate, uh, also has like a separate little uh, wrap for the magnets, which are already attached. Uh, you got the manual, basically, which uh, is both translated into English and Chinese, and shows uh, the usage of uh, Ritex most uh, apps, which are which work with. Uh, the virtual reality. It also shows the parts of the headset, but we're not going to be needing that for now. Uh, so let me take the package out of the picture. So what we have left is the virtual reality headset itself. Now, uh, the package also comes with uh, the strap over here, which uh, in the back is leather, which I really liked. Uh, it has a nice feel in the back of your head. Uh, so for the demo over here, I'm going to detach the straps. Just to be more able to show everything that's going on around here without shaking the image. And there you go, we have our bare bone headset, which I'm guessing says Ritec 3D headset version 2 or something over here. So, uh, first of all, what I, we've got on the top over here, we, I don't know if you see like these two, these three scales. This depends on the screen size of your phone, actually. Uh, it mostly has to do with, um, for example, I'm using a pretty big phone, uh, like um, towards 5 inches. So I have my scale on red. Uh, smaller phones, like uh, the iPhone 4S, I think, uh, go on the green scale. You've got to put both on green scale. And this is about the um, changing the lens parameters. So, uh, let me show you. First of all, we've got the inside. These two are the lenses. Uh, don't try looking through them without anything inside of the cardboard um, because you'll get dizzy. Uh, then what I like about Ritex uh, virtual reality head uh, set is that it has uh, this point here where you can mount your phone and it easily sticks on it without much effort. Though keep in mind that probably this won't really work on phones with uh, a rough uh, backside uh, plastic which should work also glass I've been testing it with my Xperia Z3 for a, a while now and it's been working perfectly uh, though I hadn't I haven't had many success with uh, the OnePlus One because it has that uh, uh, sandstone finish so um, without further show inside oh also keep in mind there's no NFC tag over here so if you want an NFC tag over here you gotta buy one yourself and apply it or else uh, I personally find it as a pro since um, mostly the NFC tags uh, what they do actually is just launch the cardboard app so I'm not really willing I don't really like that because I mostly use other apps apart from the Google cardboard app itself so closing it up uh, coming back to this part over here as you can see, it has a magnet for a controller. You can just pull it back, or for most people just looking at it, you can just take it off. There's also the counterpart from the inside, which I have put in with some blue tack since the Xperia Z3 uh, doesn't really uh, pick up the magnet changes unless uh, they are from this side. But there also is the mount on this side, so you can just put the magnet over here and put the counterpart from the inside. That's the default. You put it in from the inside, and you have the counterpart on the outside. Though the Xperia Z3, as I already said, requires the magnet to be on this side. So, uh, back to the headset. This is the front part. It's uh, padded over here with, um, on the edges, it's uh, padded with foam and it's really comfortable to wear. Uh, you can also, the straps are also um, 
you can change their parameters and uh, you can also, uh, what I like with Ritex uh, virtual reality headset is that you, you can actually wear it with glasses and there's no discomfort in wearing them with glasses. So, uh, there's also this uh, nose point which is uh, pretty soft on the nose, doesn't uh, give you any pain, at least on my nose. Uh, there's also these two parts which uh, kind of balance the lighting, this is like a hole over here. Uh, it actually balances the lighting well in the virtual reality experience. So, um, without further ado, let me put inside a phone. I got a blue phone over here, which will be our testing for the experiment. Uh, keep in mind that to actually use it, you need some virtual reality apps. I've got, I've gone with a classic uh, Google Cardboard. Let me show you how to set it up as well. I don't know if you really guys see it. Yeah, there you go, Google Cardboard. So, uh, I'm going to guide you through the setup since it actually requires some sort of special setup. Uh, I'm going to try to focus over there. Well, I don't know if you guys can really see it. Pretty much it's going to ask you for a QR code, which uh, probably you won't find in the box. Uh, so, what I did is uh, went around uh, scouting on the internet and I actually found a QR code that actually works with pretty decent settings. So, let me go ahead and scan it. So now that we have it configured, there you go, you can, I think you can actually see inside, there you go, yeah, you got your 3D virtual reality experience with uh, the Ritech version 2 headset. So, uh, a nice pro that I would like to point out, let me lock back the device, it also has padding on the edges, so, yeah, let me take the phone off, it also has this padding on the edges, which you can actually take off, in order to insert cables, such as headphone cables, and uh, the power cable, in which case it can also be used as a, as an Oculus Rift with uh, the Trinus Gyre software. Uh, I'm gonna link that in the description in, in case you guys want to play 3D games uh, connected with the computer. So I guess this pretty much sums up the um, Ritek version 2 virtual reality headset. I think it's a really good choice for anyone just starting out with uh, the experience. The lenses are really good. Uh, the design philosophy, I really like it. Uh, most phones work perfectly. The surface over here really helps in attaching the phone. Um, it also has the padding. It can be worn with glasses. I think it, you've got the complete Google package over here. It also has the magnet included, so you don't, have to, don't really have to buy one separately. And uh, you also have uh, the straps. I mean, like, guys, this is the complete experience. Apart from uh, the point where you have to find the cardboard uh, pyrometers which I can actually provide in the comments with that QR code. Thank you for watching my video, uh, please like and subscribe and I guess I'll see you in the next video.